in a world where adhesion is king. Now remember, this is for tight bond. Oh, right, tight bond. No hype, no gimmicks, just reliable adhesives from a trusted source for generations. We're here at AWFS 2015 in the Next Wave Automation booth with Tim Owens to show us the newest product for Next Wave. Tim, what would you like to show us? I'd like to show you the Piranha FX system. What we have here is the Piranha put it in its three different configurations. That are, This is the carving unit. We have a laser adapter and a 3D printing option. What is not shown is also the Ford option, which is a digitizing to where it can learn uh, materials so you can turn around and put it back into the carver for machining it out. So truly, it's a make anything CNC machine. Tell us about the capacities and functionality a little more. The uh, Prana FX capacity is 12 by 12 inches on the unit with a one inch off the end for doing additional carving. Uh, it has got three inches in height and can run approximately 150 inches a minute. How about the laser engraver? The laser engraver is a three watt laser, just under three watts, that allows you to be able to do engraving. It will cut through uh, veneers, uh, paper, uh, things like that, but primarily what it's designed to do is to actually allow laser etching where you don't have to have a full laser machine. And what material options can you etch onto with the laser? You can go into uh, wood, plastic, uh, you can go into leather, any sort of thing that would normally etch like that. If you're going to do metal, you're going to have to use a marking fluid. And that allows you to basically take an, an image, a picture, mm -hmm. and reproduce it onto these different materials. Yes. Yeah, yeah. How about the 3D printing unit down there at the far end? That's super yeah. cool. The 3D printing is exceptional where we have built a separate module so that it still chucks back up into the unit and will fully be able to work over that three inch range and give you a full uh, ability if you want to go over the full 12 inches. Mm -hmm. Most people don't, you see a lot of 3D printers that went up and they'll do a rabbit or something, but honestly most engineering they're trying to make like a remote control or an iPhone case sure. and they, and three inches is more than sufficient for just about any application. Now what's the material that's being used to create that, it's a chess piece that it's making down there. Yes. It's a spool of some sort of plastic, correct? Yes, it's a PLA plastic. Uh, we can use ABS and a few others, but the PLA is the most stable because we're not using a heating plate. Okay. Now, for, with the Piranha FX, it looks like you have a, a Bosch Colt router mounted into it, and, and the router is used for the carving function, but the router stays in place for the other two functions as well. Yes. It's the, the mount. It is a mount for the laser and the 3D printing. It's actually carving here. Also for the digitizer, it's also being used as a mounting system. And tell us again, the digitizer learns a shape so that you can carve it? Yes, it will learn. You can set up if you want it to go down to a thousandth of an inch and let it spend time over the material and it'll create an exact replica of what it's seeing. Now the Piranha CNC machine has been out for a while from Next Wave, correct? Yes. It, if, oh, if our viewers have a Piranha machine already, can they upgrade to this different functionality? Yes, the, the base Piranha machine is the same. They just need to get the firmware updates in order to be able to uh, change it into an FX. And the Piranha FX uses the same software package for all of its functionality, correct? It uses the majority of the, the, the same software pack, which we use Vectric, and then we have our own capability for the 3D printing and the digitizer. Okay, and a touch screen style interface. And a touch screen interface for uh, being able to control in a USB access. It can also be connected to a computer okay. if uh, the person would choose to do that. Now, if our viewers would like to invest in a Piranha FX machine, what's the cost? The cost is, uh, the base Piranha is uh, $1,600. The FX, is, with all of its functions, the four different capabilities, is $3,200. And it's available? It's available this winter, yes. Very good, very good. Now, if our viewers would like to get more information about all of Next Wave products, and in addition to the Piranha FX, what's your website? Website is nextwaveautomation.com.